Yo, yo, what up, y'all? 87 SS boy checking in, man. Hey, we back with another one. Hopefully, I ain't been gone too long, man, but you know what I'm saying? We got a little stuff going on here. Uh, so, I just wanted to check in with y'all and show y'all what I got going on. Got a little unboxing to do um, of some some uh, subs that I got um, <clears throat> by Scar. So, they had a little sale, which I say they had a little sale, but they always got a sale with Scar, man. Like, Scar always got 20% off or whatever, um, which it's a good, you get a good bang for your buck from what I heard anyway. Uh, I've heard, you know, mainly good things about Scar. So, I decided to try them out, man. We're going to see what it do. Um, I hadn't, I ain't really big into the, uh, to the audio side of things. Uh, so, but I just want a little bit of, a little bit of something in the trunk, you know what I'm saying? Not a, not a whole lot. And I'm gonna kind of show y'all what I want to do for my, um, for my speaker set up in the trunk. Um, I ain't gonna give you all the details, but just a little snippet of what I want to do and how I want things set up. Uh, I did go with, um, tens. I went with two tens, uh, shallow mount. So I'm gonna show y'all what I got going on. Um, I already got an amp, so I kind of matched up <clears throat> my amp, you know, my speakers to go with my amp so that everything will work right. Um, and then I got some other stuff coming on, coming up, uh, another amp for my high, for my mids and highs coming soon. Uh, I think it'll be here before Christmas actually, but I'll definitely let y'all know what I went with. And, um, and then we'll get this stuff installed one day. I got to get a custom box made for what I'm trying to do. Uh, so, you know, it's going to take some time. I'll get a, I'll get that stuff done after Christmas or whatever. Um, but yeah, so while you're here, man, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. So you'll be notified when I'm dropping these videos. And yeah. So what I got here, uh, which I think this is like the uh, amp or something, but this ain't an amp. I don't have an amp, but Scar Audio Box here. I haven't opened it up yet, but I did open up my um uh, my wiring kit i'm not putting down this much power so i really don't need this one zero gauge wire but um i mean the more the, the better the better it is i guess you know what i'm saying but definitely i want to go with the ofc but i could have went with a four gauge wire but i ended up ordering the one zero um so i don't know i'm not sure if i'm gonna use this wire or not but y'all just let me know once y'all figure out what my setup is. Um, the amp that I have is a, so I'm going with this Kenwood amp because <clears throat> I had it laying around, still working everything. It's a Kenwood amp. Like we said, we don't care about these, about that 1800. What we care about is this 500 watt RMS. So 500 watt RMS at four ohms. So uh, that's what I went with. Pretty much the speakers I have are 500 watts uh, at four ohms. So I'm gonna wire them up at four ohms, and you know, hopefully, like I said, I can get the best get the best out of it, man. Um, like I said, I ain't trying to, you know, beat the beat the town down and then like that, or beat the block down. Uh, I just want a little, you know, a little something, something. So like I said, definitely this is. Uh, I don't know if it's overkill or what, man, but, uh, I definitely don't need that, that zero gauge wire, I don't think, but if anybody in the, you know, watching this video and y'all are more into the audio side of things, y'all let me know, you know what I'm saying? Rather I should send this back and save a couple dollars or what I actually got this for a hundred dollars, but the four gauge, uh, oxygen free copper is about $50. So. I would save about 50 bucks, but y'all just let me know, man. Just give me your opinion. Cause like I said, this is not my expertise, which a lot of this shit ain't my expertise. You know what I'm saying? I'm a jack of all trades, but master of none. You know what I'm saying? I just be trying shit, but I will try some shit though. <laughs> y'all know me. A lot of people think I've been doing this stuff for a long time and, you know, ask me for advice and this and that. But honestly, most, most of the stuff I do on this channel, I've only done it, you know, on the channel. I've only done it once or twice. So I'm definitely not a professional. 
But yeah, let's go ahead and get into this unboxing so y'all can see, you know, what I got going on, what speakers I actually ordered to go on this Kenwood amp, and uh, and we'll go from there. We're gonna go ahead and open this thing up. Let's see what we got here. So as y'all can see that the VD-10 dual four ohm. Get myself a little table here. So we got the SCAR Audio VD-10 dual four ohm. So dual voice call four ohm speakers. And if you don't know by now, hadn't figured it out by now, VD10 means they tens. I went with tens. Um, I actually was gonna, I was going to go with um, with eights. I was gonna go with two eights because because of how I want to mount my speakers. But I ended up going with um, with the tens. I don't know what made me go with the tens. I just I just did it. Actually, it probably was because of uh, the, the amp that I have already. Like I said, I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to beat the block down or nothing like that. I just wanted something, you know what I'm saying? I honestly probably could have just went with, with 110 with a single speaker set up, but I didn't, so pass up on this deal man like I said um, they was running a good deal which they still running it um, <laughs> everything on the site is 20% off as you can see here too uh, 10 inch high power shallow mount shallow mount subwoofer so I want with the shallow mount because of where I want to mount this sub i don't want my sub showing in my trunk i want them kind of hid once i do what i once i do what i want to do with it i want them hid man y'all already know i'm a sucker for some stickers man little decal here scar audio that's a plus i like my stickers man See what these things looking like here. Guess that's good. So yeah, like I said, uh, you got your desiccant in there. Keep the moisture out. And then you got 10 inch subs here. I mean, these feel real sturdy, man. And uh, if you look at this, it's not like your typical deep speaker. So this will be like a speaker that you would use, you know, in a small confined space. Uh, you know, what people would use in trucks or, you know, or whatever the case may be. Um, but like I said, I didn't want a real big box in the trunk or anything like that. Uh, so I went with the shallow mount and I heard good things about it. So. That's what I did. I went with this um, dual voice call. So you got your connections on each side, a positive and a negative on each side. That way you can ride them whichever way you want to as far as um, your ohms. So like I said, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna run them four ohms. Um, so there'll be four coming off the speaker going into the amp. Four ohms all the way out for my 500 watts RMS. <clears throat> and while I store this, um, you know, until I get things together, I'm gonna put my bags and my, um, and my desk back in there just to keep it, to keep the moisture out or whatever. I'll do that off camera. 
And I'm gonna pull this one out too, just because, you know, I know y'all seen what's going on already, but I wanna inspect what I got. Make sure everything is good. So, this is the second speaker. Dual voice call, VD10D4. So VD10 is, you know, 10 inch sub, and then D4 is dual voice call, four ohms. So RMS 500 watts, which I showed y'all that on the amp as well. So that's what I went with. And, uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully I'm satisfied. I've heard a lot of good stuff about uh, SCAR. So now I'm going to show y'all kind of what I'm looking at with, uh, with my trunk set up here. So now that I got this halfway decent, I can kind of show y'all what I plan on doing. So as y'all know, in the G bodies, you got, you got this big area down here where my chairs and stuff are. You got this big area and then you got that lip right there. So my plan is to have my subs in a box in this lip area. Cause I don't want my subs down here. I don't want my, my subs showing because of the way that I'm doing my uh, my trunk. I'm gonna do a custom trunk. I haven't decided exactly how I'm gonna do it yet, but I do know I don't want my subs showing. So I want my subs to be on this back deck back here. Um, I got my wires right here, ran for my fuel. This is for my fuel pump, but I'm going to reroute those some kind of way cause I don't want to have to you know, go under the box and all that just to, you know, if I have any issues. So I'm going to uh, reroute those wires and I'm gonna get a box made to fit in this area. So it ain't gotta be real big. Like I said, that's why I went with the, uh, the shallow mounts. So I don't need like a real big box. And these some good looking speakers, man. I can't get it to sit up there like I wanted it to. But um, they're going to be nice. I thought it would sit up. I guess because I ain't got nothing sitting behind it to hold it up. Yeah, I just want to get a little idea of how big these tins are, or how small they are for that matter. Of course, they ain't gonna be that close together or anything, but. I just want y'all to sit up so I can show the people. So anyway, they look kind of small sitting up there in a way. But yeah, so I think those are the perfect size for that area right there. So the two tens, like I said, they'll be sitting, they'll be sitting face up, but the box will be small enough to where um, you know it won't go past that lip. Struggling over here. So yeah, the box will be small enough to where it won't go past this lip. And if it goes anywhere past it, you know, maybe maybe a half inch, maybe an inch at the most. But I want it sitting right there. And like I said, with these shallow mount speakers, I don't have to have like a real big box. I can have a small box, you know, not even too much wider than the, you know, too much wider than the speaker itself. So that's what we got, man. Y'all tell me what y'all think, man. I think it's going to be nice. Scar 10 inch speakers. But yeah, it's going to be nice though. So, and just, just so you can see how much space you got up under here. It's 
right there. I got to take measurements. I'll probably actually uh, just cut, you know, make me some cutouts with cardboard myself and take it to the guy and have him make the box. Because like I said, I got all this. I got from here to here. And then the only thing that'll be in my way, which actually is nothing. So I'm good here all the way back to these, ten these uh, tension rods or whatever for the trunk. So I don't even have to, I'll just have to go from there to the front, which that would be a perfect size box for these shallow mounts. I wish I had another speaker on me, another sub in here so I can compare this shallow mount to a regular sub. But if you know subs, you get the, you get it. But yeah, so that's my plan, part of the plan anyway. Get me a box, have it made to fit right in between those six by nine magnets and go from the front of that lip to the torsion, the torsion or tension rods, whatever they call. And that's going to sit there <clears throat> and just a little bit, a little bit of info. It'll be a panel here, a flat panel here for the trunk that setup that I'm doing. And uh, the speakers will be behind that panel i don't want them showing so yeah y'all tell me what y'all think man uh you know slow motion over here man we moving though it's one thing at a time man trust that process you already know so that's one thing i got working on and then uh i'm gonna go ahead and actually while i'm while it's cold weather oh i don't know if y'all saw that up close but Second place, best Chevy, baby. Then I got my grudge and treat top 20 cars here. Next car show, man, is a uh, stunt like me. The one that I got the grudge, the, the top 20 yet. They doing a show February, uh, I think it's February 4th, I believe. So that'll be the next show. You know, it'll still be cold outside, but it'll be the beginning of 2023 car show season. But also, uh, while I'm doing the subs and stuff, I'll be under here. And I'm going to go ahead and replace these headers, man. Because that number eight, that number eight uh, header bolt back there, getting on my damn nerves, man. Like, every time I drive it, I got an exhaust leak because that bolt keep coming out because it's so hard to get to. But my new headers, they're going to they gonna do a lot better, man. I know I got a lot of mess in here, a lot of junk in my garage, but it'll be all right. I got a little room to work. We're going to get them new flow tapes on there because I'm tired of these old crusty, crusty, rusty things, man. Them flow tapes going to look a lot better. And also, um, also, I won't have to worry about getting to that number eight header boat. So... You know, we got we got some things in progress, man. We working out here. And uh these are the specs. If you care anything about the specs on these uh speakers, these are the specs. Uh this is the part number. Uh they also have the shallow mount. There's a paper in here. They also got the shallow mount uh eights and twelves. And I got these from scaraudio.com. So we're going to see what they do, man. We're going to see what they do. And like I said, this the amp that we're going with. Hopefully this amp will do the thing because that's saving me some money because I had this amp just laying around in the garage. It's a Class D mono power amp. 500 watt RMS at 4 ohms. So, yep, that's it, man. So, like I said, hey, y'all stay tuned for the for the install. Y'all let me know how y'all like this video or give me any suggestions on this amp wiring kit or let me know uh, what y'all think about my idea for the trunk. Um, y'all just let me know, man, good or bad, any constructive criticism, anything, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think. We about to get out of here, 87SS boy. 
I'm glad y'all rocking with me, man. We almost at 2,000 subscribers. So keep running that thing up, man. Tell a friend to tell a friend. We're doing G-Body shit over here.